Greetings and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, The Last Lombard. So I've been looking through a few character sheets and I guess I found a few people to marry my people off to. So my heir, that will probably not be my heir for long. I gotta wait until my, my dude gets uh, a son or a daughter. So let's check out who we get. And I'm thinking of marrying him off with someone with a claim on Greece. Which was, if I can find her anyway, let's do that again, uh, Greece, Greece, yeah, here we go. So this person here, she has a claim on Greece, so I'm gonna do right that, that should be nice. And then we got our sister, I will be marrying her, her off matrilineally to this person here, who has a strong claim on the Byzantine Empire. So that would mean that eventually I will get some people from my dynasty that will have a claim on Byzantine. Which would be nice that eventually I can press it once they are weaker and that would get one of my dynasty on the throne of Byzantine. So that would be very good. Now let's continue. However, that still means that I don't have any decent alliances. But well, I guess that's okay for now because I'm pretty strong. All right, that's good. And she should come of age pretty soon. Now, of course, I'm hoping that this guy sticks around for a few years so that they can make some babies at least. And we still got this guy. Didn't I just betroth you to someone? I guess I gotta wait until, oh yeah, there we go. So we get this person here. We say, well, it's, actually it's a weak claim, but uh, it's a claim nonetheless. All right, there we go. Fortunately, we get no alliances, as I said, but we're going to have to make do with what we get. I'm thinking that Byzantium is at least going to try and complete some duchies before he tries to attack me. That's at least what I would do in his place. And we get some more opinion with the bishop. How is this progressing? So actually, we got him in the back, we got him, which is where we are actually. So let's place him somewhere else. Let's put, let's put a bishop over there. Well, no, my chaplain, I mean. There we go. How else am I doing? I'm having some better opinions, training troops, collecting the tide and Yes. And studying technology in Constantinople, as usual. So that's all good. Now I'm hoping I'm gonna get some kids that I can marry off to soon. Well, betrothed anyway, to try and get some alliances. Or at least make sure that the person, uh, the people around me cannot attack me. Or are not willing to attack me. This guy is doing pretty bad. He's losing against the uh, revolt. And I'm not sure what they are revolting for. And she's of legal age. Excellent. All right. And now let's marry them. We actually get a bunch of prestige from this, which is nice. All right, there we go. And now make a few babies that have a that have my dynasty and a strong claim on Byzantine. That would be nice. Now who the hell is this? My chancellor died, unfortunately. Oh well, let's make this mayor the new chancellor. Uh, he's actually from Capua. That's interesting, and he can go talk to himself. I got a lot of troops now, which is excellent. I might actually rank up pretty decently now in the ledger. Let's take another look. If I find where it is. Independent States. Army. So yeah, I'm almost on page one. When it comes to gold, I am number one. So <laughs> that's nice. And even my income is pretty decent, as you can see. Well, uh, 11, 
11.6 every month. And I'm still spending some money on this written you, so... I guess we should actually put someone in charge of this. This dude doesn't like me. Yes, let's put him in charge. There we go. That may not be a great idea. Put someone that doesn't like you in charge of your army, but, well, it's just uh, the small retinue anyway. Uh, let's see. So he thinks he is a better court chaplain than him. Actually, he is by quite a big margin. But still. Oh, well, let's do it. Okay, the bishop isn't gonna like it, but I can. And now the steward is dead. Wow, interesting. So let's make him go talk to someone. So apparently they all like me. Did, uh, did the Pope just die? I don't know. <laughs> but they all... I don't get it. Anyway, let's put the chaplain in Foggia again. And let's find ourselves a new steward. Well... There's only one choice, really. This guy. Let's collect some taxes in Capua. Now, what do we got? A we claim. Oh, yes, for uh, Calabria. But that's... That's her now. That's still the same person, I think. And we got a whole lot of messages, so... Betrothed can marry. Okay, that's, that's me, I think. Yes, that is me. <laughs> and that would get us a small alliance with some sort of random baron. That's okay. Let's continue. Now we should have a better state attributes, which is good. And what do we take? The gold or the prestige? I guess I'm gonna go with prestige. Alright, there we go. Now we actually have uh, 5 out of 7 Demesne because our state stewardship went up. Alright, and that's good. Some more opinion with some people. But they all still obey to the Pope, it seems. Which isn't fortunate, but I hope they will turn around eventually. How much are they giving me anyway? Let's see. Let's wait for a moment. All the auto saves. Vessels, alright. So he actually has a. Well, it's not that much of an income. It's not that bad. The bishop bricks don't really pay out all that much. Now I do need to keep upgrading this thing. There's still quite a few of cheap upgrades to go, so uh, that's okay. And I do want to spend, uh, want to keep around 1,000 gold in case I do get in a war. I'm able to get some mercenaries because somehow I think, well, either this guy might try and press his claim. Though he would be foolish, he has no allies and not a lot of troops, at least not compared to me. But uh, the threat is actually the Byzantine Empire since he's attempting to expand over here. Okay, now he's... Let's see if I approve. Yes, okay, let's, let's approve it. Maybe he's gonna like me a little more. Nope, okay. Doesn't matter anyway, it was gonna get approved. Either way, since... Eventually some people vote for it, so it wasn't all that important. And he doesn't even... Well, yeah, the crown authority of the empire doesn't even affect me since I fall under a kingdom. And the kingdom of Sicily does not exist. So I don't care what he does with his crown authority. Does he actually have any kingdoms under him? Uh... Apparently not. Well, at least he doesn't have any titles. Okay. 
after I made another Kurti cry. Uh, hmm. Who am I kidding? I love this. Cruelty. Or I could get kindness. Less intrigue, more diplomacy, more opinion. Well, I, I guess more opinion would be nice. Let's actually, we already have kindness. Let's try and get cruel. <laughs> okay, well, we exchanged kindness for cruel. Actually, that may lower all our opinions. That's not good. Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. And we get some more opinion with this bishop. Which is good. Yeah, the vessels don't like me all that much anymore, but pff, I don't care. And we're getting a lot of money. Wow, again. That's interesting. So I could also spend some more some more research points here, but I'm actually not going to because I could upgrade this one, but this one is actually still going, so I'm gonna let it continue and I'm gonna use my research points for technologies like this one for example that is not going because my neighbors apparently don't have a higher level than me. Okay, and we get a new person in our court. It's getting rather crowded, actually. We got 42 people. And where's this new guy? I forgot his name. I think it's... No. Not that one. Okay, I forgot. Actually, I might start pushing another claim on someone. Actually, I could since I died, right? I have no... Oh, wait, I do. So, this is until... Well, only about six years. I suppose I could try and do another fabrication of claim on Amalfi this time. Now, my brother Lando does his homework and is always on time for his lessons. Make him diligent. Slotful. Yeah, okay, make him diligent. That's good. I could actually marry you off to someone. The uh, Aegean Islands. And this is the Duchy of... Where the hell is this? Temis. Hmm, that way. I'm not sure about that. Anyone else? I'd like to get some decent alliances going. Actually, there's some kings right here. But these are all either kings or petty kings. They are very far away from me. All in uh, the north, Scandinavia or Great Britain. This is Bohemia, but they are not independent, I think. No, they fall under the under the HRE. Oh, now that I see this, uh, I forgot I actually have a few prisoners. So let's ransom them, I suppose. 10 gold, 25 gold. And apparently he does not have enough money. He does have enough money, but he doesn't want to pay. Okay, I guess that kid is gonna stay in the dungeon for a while. Oh, now he wants to? Okay, ransom him off. Who the hell is this anyway? Heir to the Duchy of Apulia. Oh, that's interesting. I should have read that earlier. Let's see. Ah, crap. Oh well. Um, ah, she's pregnant. Excellent. Some more prestige. And well, we get some more money. It would 
wouldn't have mattered all that much anyway. There's a, a lot of the Otevils that can inherit this duchy. So even if I destroy, uh, kill one, <laughs> there'd be another one in the place. So it doesn't matter all that much. And he actually does not have any troops at all. And we got some... Um, well, we made someone hate the Pope a little more, but it doesn't seem like it did all that much. Let's see. Oh well. Now, who do we have? Ah, that's interesting, but he... This is a Prince of the HRE. We claim. But he didn't seem to inherit it, unfortunately. I don't really know exactly how all the inheritance of certain claims go. I suppose strong claims can be easily inherited, but weak claims cannot. Even though it does say it can be inherited, uh, it all depends on certain things. Well, all the vessels like me, so that's good. They don't like me much, but it's better than nothing. And how about written use? This one is at full strength now, so we're no longer reinforcing it, so we get a lot more money. And talking about money, I should be spending some right here. So what what can we get next? Some barracks. Yes, let's build some barracks. I guess I should be building some castle, town and keep as well soon, because that'll get me a few more taxes. Well, actually just the castle town. That would be good. And now we got this guy that wants to be the core chaplain. He's actually very good. And since this guy is just a random guy... Sure, you're it. And now you're gonna talk to some people. Uh, let's see. And apparently they are all on the side of the Pope. I don't really get why, but uh, either way, I gotta try and... Actually, does the Pope like me? The Pope actually has no wife, which um, I guess makes sense. <laughs> you know what, let's go talk to the Pope. He's like right next door. And we have a daughter, okay. And she's ill, that's great. <laughs> Unfortunately, she did not inherit the genius trait. Maybe we'll get a son, that'll work. Or isn't she a genius? She has a genius, so... Oh well, maybe we'll get uh, better luck next time. So now at least we have someone to marry off to. Let's see, what could we do matrilineally? A prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, and... Yeah, do it. Does he actually have any more allies now? Only the Duke of Salerno, which is no threat to me. And the Duke of Calabria, which is also no threat to me. But how can he actually call the Duke of Salerno, since he is... Oh, right, he's over there. Okay, fair enough. But they actually all combined shouldn't have more troops than me. Let's see. 1,700. About 2k. And he has only 1k or 1.5. So that's about, you know, 2, 5, about 5 to 6k. That's actually just about as much as I have. But then again, my army will be... A bit more cohesive, I think. So even if he raises people, I'll be able to crush them piece by piece. And still we gotta wait a few more years, I think, before we can actually press this claim. Yes, five more years, give or take. Oh, there's actually... Ooh, Holy Roman Revolt. That's interesting. Especially because it's all right next to me, in Tuscany. Let's take a look at how this is going. 
pretty sure that the emperor will win. He still has the majority of the of the people behind him. So he's got uh, 23,000 people. And this dude heal here of the HRE has... Okay, well, almost nothing. I guess he already got totally destroyed, but... Oh well, too bad. They should have uh, they should have waited until the HRE actually was in a war with someone like France, for example. It's just a matter of time until they start fighting for Flanders again, I suppose. And what do we get? More diplomacy, excellent. We kind of need that. And now this dude died. The chaplain, all right. So now we can make. You, the chaplain, again. And, yes, you are actually talking to the Pope. So let's send you back. And we already have this claim, so he can do something else also. For example, talk to yourself in... Wait. How can he... Oh. Oh, that's weird. It's uh, Mayor uh, Jocelyn of Foggia Amalfi. Oh, crap. I'm an idiot. That's where he is, not what he is. Uh, okay, well, let's make you go talk to yourself in Foggia. I'm not really paying enough attention to the game, I think. Oh, great. Another one dead. Chancellor. That's the dude I just sent out. <laughs> wow. Okay. People dying left and right. I suppose... Maybe the bishop? Not though he already likes me by a whole lot, so... Well, let's pick him anyway. And we can improve relations with this guy. Well, yeah, the council isn't that bad. It's only the chancellor now that's... Not very good, but we got all the claims we got for now, so that's all good. So this kid here still hasn't anyone to marry. Let's see, any alliances? That's teams, that's the Aegeans. Maybe I should go for the Aegeans. That would get me someone in the Byzantine Empire of my of my dynasty. Let's do it. How old is she anyway? Any time now? Uh, let's see, where is she? 11. That's uh, just right, it seems. Alright. Good. Hopefully she doesn't get murdered. <laughs> and they got some factions going on. That's something I don't have to worry about, seeing as I don't have any counts at all under me. So I have full control of everything. Well, almost everything, probably. And who's this? This is my brother. That I married off to the Princess of Greece. Sure thing. And this is my other brother. Who apparently is gonna become cynical. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? You're gonna need all the intrigue. Because you're gonna marry off to someone far away. And... Yeah, I'm just saying something. Uh, let's see, what do we got now? He accepts. That's good. And is he at war again with someone? Apparently. Oh, crap. Byzantium. Yeah, we're gonna need to do something about that, but what? He has, like, a lot of troops. Not as much as he used to, but still a lot. I need someone like the HRE behind me to actually destroy Byzantium. But he probably also has a few allies, I'm gonna guess. 
is Queen of Croatia. Although she isn't actually that much of a threat. 3k? No. Alright. Hmm. Well, this is getting kind of a problem. Byzantium, that is. So, how do I change this? It would be nice if Greece would be willing to ally. With a few people, we could take down Byzantium, but the question is how. We got some more levy reinforcements, that's good. So, he's got no allies at all. What about Hungary? Hungary has a few allies with Croatia. Well, only one actually. We could beat him up. I'm pretty sure Greece would very much like to have Greece back. Mainland Greece. Probably should even have a claim on it. No, he's got a claim on that. But he should have a de jure claim on the rest of Greece. The only reason why he isn't pushing it is because he doesn't have enough troops. I suppose. Or maybe he likes the... He likes the Emperor. I doubt it, actually. Let's uh, take a look. So... The Emperor... The Emperor does not like the guy from Greece, and... Wait, that didn't work. Oh wait, that did work. And where is Greece? Anywhere? Maybe I've gone past him. Oh no, here he is. And yes, he very much dislikes him. So that's nice. So I should somehow try and ally with Greece. I don't really care about these lands. It would be nice if he can reclaim Greece. And I can just try and reclaim Italy. Okay, so we got an anti-pope. Quite weird because the real pope is actually a vassal of him. <laughs> that doesn't really make all that much sense. So now she has usurped the title of Sicily from the other guy. And who the hell are you? No one important, apparently. And good, we got a tight 80 more gold. I guess we could build something new over here. Uh, let's see. Some more... Oh yes, Castle Town I was gonna build for some more taxes. Either way, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, I guess not much happened, except that we saw the Byzantine Empire keep pushing forward into Italy, which is not good at all, so we're gonna need to have some sort of plan. And it seems like Rum isn't doing too good either, which is bad, because I'd like them to attack the Byzantines. Either way, we're gonna have to wait and see how this all evolves. Hopefully you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and see you next time.